What you're looking at over here is my personal blog, and it comes with a new feature. What's happening here is that I have a Marimo notebook that is fully embedded inside of my blog. But the cool thing isn't so much that we're able to do that. We had this feature before with iframes. What's really neat now is the way that you can declare this. Because I didn't add an iframe manually, this blog is set up in such a way that it can natively take any code blocks written in Python and turn that into an app like this. That means that anything that I can do with fancy widgets inside of Marimo is now also something that I can put up on my blog or on a documentation page. And I can do a similar thing where I don't run the code in app mode, but instead I run it in edit mode, like you see over here. This is a Marimo notebook that I'm able to edit. Really just like the native experience, it's just, again, everything is running in Wasm. So how does this work? Well, you can take these, I suppose, normal Python code blocks that you would write in native Markdown as you would normally. I've got three of them on top over here, and uh, note that they're all Python code blocks. After loading the Marimo snippets library, which is a new library, you're able to wrap all of this code with a new custom HTML tag. And here's what that looks like. This will be the bit that we had before. These are the normal Python code blocks that you would write normally, but it's being wrapped around by this Marimo iframe over here. And you can also see that there is a div element around that. When you do this, and when at the end of your normal markdown file, you import this Marimo snippets library, then everything will be automated from there. What's gonna happen is that once the page is loaded, your HTML page is going to send a request to the Marimo backend. And as part of the payload, we are sending all the code in the code blocks, as well as some configuration. And then what we get back is everything that we need to render the Marimo app or notebook from within an iframe. This is really neat because it adds a lot of flexibility on stuff that you can do on your own documentation page or maybe on your blog. I've had plenty of these moments where I had something working in a notebook that had some great interactive elements to it. But in order to get that to run on my blog back in the old day, I would have to learn JavaScript and you effectively don't have to do that anymore. It is also amazing if you are writing a documentation page because effectively you can host your Python code on your docs page directly and you can allow your users to play around with the code before even having to install anything. So again, what's really neat is normally you would have to generate this iframe yourself locally in order to host it, but now we have a more interactive way that should lower the barrier to anyone who wants to have interactive segments on their website that have Python code running on your behalf. If you're eager to learn more, definitely go to the Marimo snippets repository on GitHub. If you're keen to have a closer look, you can look at our open source repository to see how we implemented this, but you can also check out the GitHub pages that has all sorts of examples listed. And there's also a section at the bottom that highlights all the possible ways that you can configure this widget for your own website. There are things that you can configure per iframe, so things like the height and whether or not to show the code, but you can also configure global settings if there's a specific setting that will be required for your entire site. Again, we are super excited about this new feature and I hope you'll give it a spin. If you're keen to learn more, definitely check out our Discord. And if you wanna be up to date with all of our latest features, definitely consider subscribing to this channel.